Today we're going to learn about speed word problems. Let's say we have a problem like a train 150 meters long traveled 420 kilometers at an average speed of 120 kilometers per hour from town A to point X. From point X it traveled through a tunnel. The whole train took three minutes to pass through the tunnel completely. It continued at the same speed to town B. The whole journey took five hours and thirty minutes. A. How long was the tunnel? And B. What is the distance between point X and town B? Now, it says in the problem that a train 150 meters long so let's write down how long, or the length of the train. So the length of the train, L for length, T for train, is equal to 150 meters. Now it says that it traveled at an average speed of 120 kilometers per hour. So let's write down that the speed of the train, S for speed, T for train, is equal to 120 kilometers per hour. Now it says in the problem that from point X it traveled through a tunnel. The whole train took three minutes to pass through the tunnel completely. Before we go on to this part of the problem, let's first draw out what we already have. So let's say this is town A. And let's say this is point X. Now we know that the train traveled 150 meters long, traveled 420 kilometers. So we know that the distance between town A and point X is equal to 420 kilometers. Now, it says in the problem that the whole train took three minutes to pass through the tunnel. So, let's write down that the distance, D for distance, of the train that traveled in three minutes is equal to the speed of the train is 120 kilometers per hour. Now, the distance of the train travels in one minute is 120 kilometers per hour over 60. And we have to find the distance it traveled in three minutes, so times three. Six goes into 12 two times. So we get two times three, which is equal to six kilometers. Now since we are measuring the length of the train in meters, let's write this down in meters. So it's equal to 6,000 meters. So the distance the train traveled in 3 minutes is equal to 6,000 meters. Now, let's look at this model below. This pen is the train, and this is the tunnel. So right here, where the train enters the tunnel, right here, is point X. 
And right here, where the end of the train meets the end of the tunnel, is when the train has traveled three minutes and has traveled 6,000 meters. Now, we can see in this model that the 6,000 meters includes the length of this tunnel plus the length of this train. So this means that the length of the tunnel is equal to the 6,000 meters minus the length of the train. So, we know that the length of the train is equal to 150 meters. So the length of the tunnel is equal to 6,000 meters minus 150 meters, which is equal to 5,850 meters. So this means that the tunnel is 5,850 meters long. Five thousand eight hundred fifty meters. Now, the next part of the problem is what is the distance between point X and time B? And it says in the problem that it continued at the same speed to town B. And the whole journey took five hours, thirty minutes. So let's complete this diagram. He tr continued traveling until he reached town B. And we know that the total time, T for total, T for time, is equal to 5 hours, 30 minutes. which is equal to five and a half hours, which is equal to eleven over two hours. Now, we need to find out what is the distance between point X and town B. And we know that speed, S for speed, is equal to distance over time. So this means that the distance, d for distance, is equal to the speed, s for speed, times the time, t for time, which is equal to the speed is 120 kilometers per hour times the time, which we know is 11 over 2, which is equal to 2 goes into 120 60 times. 60 times 11 is equal to 660 kilometers. Now, the total distance of the journey, t for total, D for distance is equal to 660 kilometers. But we need to find out what is the distance between point X and town B. So we need to find the distance between point X and town B. But right now, we have the distance between town A and town B, which is 660 kilometers. Now, we already know that the distance between town A and point X is equal to 420 kilometers. So this means that the distance between town X and town B 
the distance between town X and town B D for distance is equal to the total distance which is equal to 660 kilometers minus the distance between town A and point X which is equal to 420 kilometers which is equal to 240 kilometers. So this means that the distance between point X and town B is equal to 240 kilometers. Today we learn about speed word problems. Thank you for watching this video.